I'm Josh Kincaid with Seattle Super Chronic Cafe. And since Seattle's always been a pretty pot-centric location, what better place to have the world's first commercial joint rolling machine? So the problem is, is how do you roll a consistent quality joint over and over and over again and, and reach the mass market? There's two companies out there and the, both of these companies are rolling these joints by hand. The maximum they're able to roll is about 220 a day. The machine I'm proposing can do that in five minutes. It's about 160,000 to buy these machines, 40,000 for the retrofit, about another 50,000 for miscellaneous parts and labor. So it's under 300 grand. The investors in this machine are gonna have a return on their investment that far exceeds their imagination. If the machine is running 360 days a year, 24 seven, it's pumping out 21 million joints. At 50 cents per joint, the annual revenue per machine is 11 million. You have four in each state. That's a total of 1.8 billion in annual sales. So if I have a machine and I cut out FICA, I save them 20%. Do you mind if I do it, Jay? Joints are really popular, and it's because it's convenient. You can grab it, it's socially acceptable, kind of looks like a cigarette, but it's more about convenience. People don't want to look like a crackhead and smoke in their car. They're gonna get in trouble if they have a glass pipe. But joints aren't easy to roll. It takes time to roll it. You're also not using the best ingredients. So if you're starting with floor clippings, it's gonna taste like shit, smell like hay, and look even worse. But with a joint machine, you're getting that consistency. And so we can bring that to the masses with this machine.